I want to drag out the possibility that I might be nervous to meet you and, and be on camera, so. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Well, that's very kind of you to say that, but I haven't started the torture conversation yet. My eyes, <laughs> anyway. God, you cannot see it. <laughs> but let's just do this, right? Let's just do, right? Yeah. Let's just get a big going because we're going to find our groove and we're going to be all right. That's what I thought. I just thought I'd jump right into it at all because it's yeah. normal. It's natural. It would be yeah. awkward not to have anxiety at all. It's just if it's elevated, then it becomes a a problem. But in general, and, we all should have it. But when it's elevated, what's elevated for one person may not be the same for another. That's true. It depends on also how often and what situation anxiety pops up. Okay. If you're, for example, haunted or in your, in your in say, ghost house in the fun fair, then it's normal that you feel also a form of anxiety or something, not knowing okay. it's going to happen, or you feel threatened or something like this, or you walk down an alley as a woman at night. These yeah. are situations yeah. that are in the beginning of some people who have sweaty hands, fidgety fingers, or my heart starts racing. And then it adds with negative thoughts most of the time. And you become your own sort of internal bully in a way. It is wow. something that misguides mm. you and makes you feel... A lot of people tell me, and I also explain to myself, that they're feeling you're not good enough, that there are flaws around the way you are or the, the way you do things. It can escalate if that constant bullying, let's say, for some people goes on for hours wow. or sometimes even days. It can escalate that you suppress it so much and you try to fight it. Most mm. of the time you try to fight this thought with another thought or you suppress the critical symptoms because you're in a social environment you don't want anyone to see and it can escalate to that extent that you feel like you're having this heart attack or you you cannot breathe anymore it's like someone literally stepping on onto your chest and that is then a panic attack